This video contains an ad for Squarespace. Shut up, Akira. So today we are actually hoping to finish the van in this build video. Before the snow comes again. <laughs> but this time, actually. Yes. Yes. We have a lot of small things to fix today, so I think we should just jump straight into it. <laughs> Today we're gonna finish it. We're gonna cover up all the space foil stuff and we're gonna yes. do that using some fabric. And plywood. And plywood. So let's begin doing that. We wanna remove this part so we can just attach some fabric here. Great. Well that was a lot easier than expected. <laughs> uh, I'm first just going to staple this to the ceiling and then use spray glue on the other parts. This looks horrible. <laughs> the staples are just way too big and very visible, so we gotta go get a different staple gun and smaller staples. To the store! Okay! One pair of pants later. Got some coffee, new staple gun. Let's try this again! <gasps> What now? <laughs> we can't block here! <laughs> this is where the door goes! <laughs> we figured it out, we just had to cut a little slit in the curtain and kind of thread it around it. And now we just gotta cut away a lot of the fabric and use spray glue to attach everything and make it look nice. It's not my prettiest work. <laughs> it was really hard to put on and apply, but considering our options, I think it looks decent. Now let's move on to the sides here. So what I'm planning to do is just to make first a paper template to get the right shape of this weird curved thing, and then cover it up with some 10 millimeter plywood and use some three millimeter plywood along the edges here to cover the gap. Okay, we got the weird looking template, so it's time to cut it out in plywood. It's been a couple of days actually where we've just spent time making this nice. We put on some wood filler, sanded it down. We gotta do it again, but it's looking pretty good. Like we covered up the whole windowsill with wood and now I have the perfect spot to put my coffee. And now finally, we're going to fix the most annoying thing in this entire van, these dangling cables. And I got just the perfect thing for that. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> Seems like it scattered some dust. We bought it a long time ago at a local hardware store. And it's really just something that looks like a very old wooden beam, but it's just like, it's just foam. But it's perfect because it got a huge hollow inside. So we can kind of fit those ugly cables inside here and just make it look like a beam. I don't know, you don't need a structural beam inside the van, but I, I think it's gonna look cool. <laughs> 
So now to fasten this, I am going to use a mixture of MS polymer glue and epoxy glue, which is very quick drying because I'm not going to be able to hold this up for the time this needs to dry. So I'm going to use express epoxy while this other one dries, if that makes sense. I'm going to apply this to most of the area here and some express epoxy, I guess, on the middle and each edge so it just stays up. And now the epoxy. <laughs> Smells bad. I'm just doing a little bit in the middle and a little bit on the edges and I'm hoping that will suffice. Gotta... And then we play the waiting game. Yep. My arms. <laughs> no, it's called big brain. I feel at peace now that all the hanging cables are just out of the way and this looks so good. <laughs> and I also added this on the inside here to kind of bring it more together and cover up this weird corner that was really hard to do something with. <laughs> but now I think it looks really good. I love this beam. So all we gotta do to finish the windowsill is just to give it a light sanding and then apply the lacquer. But for now we're going to focus on the curtains. So now to make the curtains I am going to use again some paper to make a template to get the correct shape like the perfect shape of the window so we can cut that out in fabric and get just the perfect curtain for each of the windows okay so before we start sewing those curtains you knew this was coming here's an ad for squarespace squarespace is the only one platform to build your online presence and run your business it doesn't matter if it's an online store a portfolio or a more personal website because squarespace is a good fit for any purpose their interface is intuitive to use so anyone can just smack up a beautiful website in minutes just pick a template customize it and launch and boom you got yourself a website i personally use it to make my art portfolio which i'm really happy with it was super easy to import all the pictures i wanted and i didn't even have to do anything to make them align or scale correctly because their automatic image scaling does that for you and if you need any help with setting up your website they have 24 7 customer support which is pretty nice so if you think this sounds interesting then check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com nerdforge to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain and back to the project. Curtain time. So I got the paper template I made from the window and I got two different fabrics I'm going to use for the curtains because I want this to be the visible part, this linen that is just prettier and it fits better into the van, but it doesn't really block out the sun. So I'm going to add one layer of this sun blocking curtains. It doesn't let any light through, so it's perfect. And on the sides of all the windows, I'm going to have some of these zippers so we can easily just like open and close them. So no light goes through on the sides or the bottom. Let's pop! Okay, curtains are done! And look, they block all the light. It's wonderful. But before I attach this up here, I'm going to attach these bands that got like a little button on them because they're going to sit up here so I can kind of wrap the curtain up and stow them away for the day. And to attach them, I'm just going to use some express epoxy because they have to be really strong. Before I apply the glue, I have to rub it down with some rubbing alcohol to make sure that nothing is on the surface. <laughs> fastened the first one and the way it works is we got the zippers on the side here that I just attached with some super glue. We can open them and then we can roll it up and then fasten it in place. Just like that and it blocks out all the sun so we can sleep nicely inside the van. I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I managed to make it fit so well and hopefully the other windows will fit just as well. Let's fasten the rest of them.
last things I fixed were the curtains, some lacquering Hansi did, and of course the doormat, the symbolic beginning to the end <laughs> of this project. But now, of course, since we're finally finished with the van, I can't believe it, we have to do the full van tour. Let's begin in the back, shall we? Thank you, Marcina. I'm gonna introduce you all to the back of the van, which is quite magnificent. We do have some storage, we have the bed, and we have the electronics. Now, the bed isn't really here yet, but that's just because the electronics is underneath. And I want to show you the electronics before we go ahead and put the bed in place. Let's jump into the van. So Clyde joined me to explain the electronics. He's very good at that. Anyway, we have the batteries in here and we have the MPP charger which charges the battery and that gets power from the solar when there's sun. Obviously now there's fall in Norway so it's a regular charger. This entire setup controls the power going throughout the entire van. For instance, the lights underneath the cabinets and the lights in the ceiling. So they can go on and off and they can also dim which is quite nice if you just want to have a little nice light in the evening we also got power in the power sockets that allows us to charge our phone in the sides there and in the kitchens as well so that's the power side of things but the rest of this space consists of the bed and the cabinets up here which has a lot of storage they are super handy i think these are super cool one of the coolest things we made in this whole entire van build i also love how smooth they are like that's the stuff. So now you see in the back of the van, I'm gonna go get the bed with Martina and we can put it here and we can see how it looks completely furnished. So let's go and do that. Let's put these in their place. Oh, it hides the electronics perfectly and now that we put these in, they're too long. Didn't think about that. Just gonna go and fetch the saw. This is gonna yeah. be a quick fix. Yeah. <laughs> Put in the bed. Yes. <laughs> you. But I need help. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not that heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just big and clunky. No, wrong way. Oh. Uh, the you're holding the end. Wait, are we flipped? No, this is this this part is going in there. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, nice. Mm. I have it. You have it. You need to stop me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the other way, right? Yes. Well, it doesn't really matter, I think. Cool. Poor bed party. Nice. Welcome to the kitchen area. Last time you saw us make this awesome sink. We got the sink in here and of course the gray water and regular water down there. Do we have any? Yeah, we do. And then we also have another hole here. We're going to have like a cooking top here so we can connect it to the gas there, but still be able to stow it away when we're not using it. And we're going to stow it away underneath here, behind the curtains. And you know what? I don't hate the curtains. They're actually pretty nice. And then of course we have the diesel heater in here, which has been a blessing when we've been working out here in the cold and it's actually been nice in here and then of course in this episode I made these curtains and they block just all the light I'm actually pretty happy with the fit and we got curtains there for the fan in the ceiling as well because there was a lot of light leaking there but then finally we also got some alarms around here we got a CO alarm here one in the roof up there as well as an LPG alarm down inside where we're going to have the gas and stuff so we'll know <laughs> if there are any leaks or too much CO in here one final thing as you can see it's kind of far to reach here but it's actually possible to just open this up <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Don't mind that. <laughs> it's actually possible to just open this up and then we can flip it out, attach some legs under here and actually use that as like a bench. And then we'll sit over here. That's the kitchen. And now I'm going to sleep. Farewell, friends. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Coffee time. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe we are finally finished. Oh, it's been two years. It's been two years. It feels like a dream come true. 
Finally! <laughs> I can't wait until going for the first trip with this van. Yes! It's gonna be awesome! It's gonna be fantastic! And if you want to see where we go and what we do with this van, then you should follow us on Instagram. Because we'll post probably some cheesy like van life stuff there. <laughs> I also want to thank you guys for sticking with us for so long and being really patient throughout this long build. And also thank you to our patrons and YouTube members for supporting us and just enabling us to do this kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, without you, we wouldn't have the time or resources to, mm. sp to spend this much of our life doing this. So thank you so much. Yes. And now let's roll the final shots. <laughs>